everybody, we are speaking now as we have some very big political and I suppose maybe business news. And so let's just get to it. Ken Griffin just announced that he's pulling his firms, the Citadel related firms, out of Illinois, going to Florida. He's threatened this for years. And now today, as we speak, he says he's doing it. Tina, do you think, given the enormous amount of money he dumped into Illinois politics and a lot of races, most particularly the $50 million into the Richard Irving campaign, do you think we've seen the last of him trying to influence politics in Illinois? Uh, I think he could potentially still try to influence politics in Illinois, just not living in Illinois. He said he's moving to Florida. He is upset. And we learned three weeks ago that Irvin is behind. Um, he was seemingly the front runner a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago. He is upset that this has not worked out for him. Um, he's already had a lot of wins in Illinois. He fought the graduated income tax. So all of the millionaires and billionaires or high earning people have a better tax rate. So he has that. Um, other than that, I think I was talking to someone today about he's he had bike paths in Chicago. That's what he did. So he didn't really do a lot of the things that he was fighting for, but beyond the taxes, like he did not, he hated crime, but there's not a lot of initiatives he did um, to put his money into to try to combat crime. So I do think for now he is done, but we've seen him, you know, give a lot of money in other races as well. But also, he's an enormous local philanthropist, too, so if he if we lose that. But we're talking politics on this show, so we're going to stay with the political theme. So he bankrolled the Aurora Mayor's campaign. And Dave and Tina, you two were the main writers on the WBEZ Sun-Times poll. Let's put up the number and show what we found that created such a buzz in the political community. And uh, this is a poll, uh, and we took it June 7th and 8th. But it just shows what a come from behind uh, a surge there has been for Darren Bailey, the state senator from downstate Illinois, who comes from the Trump MAGA wing of the Republican Party. If Illinois could succeed, he would be for it. So even if these numbers uh, have changed a little bit, uh, what do you first, Dave and then Tina, Dan and Mariah, uh, or... We'll see. We can mix it up. We don't have to have everybody say everything on this show because we have so much to cover. Uh, do you think these kind of numbers, Dave, are going to hold? Or are there other factors that may intercede in the closing days of the campaign? Well, I mean, that move in the numbers there corresponds with this just complete, you know, ad barrage against uh, Irvin, you know, coming from uh, the Democratic Governors Association, coming from Pritzker. Uh, you know, Darren Bailey funded by uh, Dick Uline, the, the Lake Forest businessman. Uh, you know, so it's, it's all kind of that effect that has, has partly driven Irvin down. And I think these numbers, uh, if I would not be surprised if these numbers um, change where Irvin's numbers continue to drop. I mean, I think that's, that's a possibility here because you just have a sense that, you know, the air is coming out of the balloon entirely. And the Irvin campaign, and I think this news with Griffin today just compounds that. And, and the optics of that are just incredible because like, you know, to, to, you know, you and I don't have $50 million to throw around yeah. like that. But the optics of, of you know, Irvin's main benefactor making such a, a you know, well, seismic announcement like this? this. He could have waited a few days. What is, but that's my everybody, point. It, we it, are puzzled, yeah. right? Why is the timing what it is now? Mahopolis, what do you think? Look, I can't believe that he would be bluffing about something like this, uh, moving a headquarters of, of such a, a big company, a hedge fund, down to uh, Miami from Chicago is, is not a bluff. But the timing is extremely weird. I mean, we're talking less than a week uh, before Election Day in a state where he spent tens of millions of dollars with apparently little return on his investment. Now, we're also talking about a guy who is spending money all over the country. He's, yes. It, He's been the number one donor to Republican causes in this cycle nationally, not just in Illinois. And he's given a lot of money to the governor of Florida, by the way, who's, who's a right. Republican, uh, Ron DeSantis. Um, but this does reek of saying, you know, I've done my best in Illinois. I'm taking my ball, but, which is a big one, and I'm going home. Right. Yeah. But what he's he's I'm sorry, Mariah. No, right. just, I was going to say it, it's the timing of it seems like a move of someone who feels a little butthurt but, <laughs> to be her like has of, a big ball and is taking it home from the But playground. he's taking it home too soon. So, yeah, it, see, he's going to if Irvin tanks uh, and 
I, maybe we could all reconvene here on the morning after the election and analyze who, who, who won or lost. Uh, it, for whatever reason, in a sense, it is not a vote of confidence in the man he's bankrolling, so it is puzzling his time.